I was a reckless teenager. I strove for the attention of others. I was a popular kid, like a brother to most people, and I was in cliques like the jocks, the nerds, and even the normal kids. They liked me. Except the stoners. The stoners were a bunch of kids who were considered weird by everyone in the school. They were all guys except one girl, who was abused by her father and turned to drugs to control her pain. They all laughed when I messed up. If I ever tried to talk to them, they just smirked at me like I was some damn fool. They used to just hang out and listen to Pink Floyd and other rock bands. When I told my friends that the stoners didn't like me that much, they told me not to worry. That the stoners are just all cynical and depressed assholes who have nothing better to do. I wanted to prove myself to them, showing them that I'm not some jock, that I would definitely earn their friendship. Now that I think about it, I was kind of insecure back then. I used to point out the flaws of others and did the same things to myself. One day I had enough. I went up to them and told them I wanted some LSD. At first they laughed at me. They thought I was joking. I stared at them with a determined face and their smiles turned into frowns. They sold me some for a hundred bucks. Pretty cheap. I went home and waited for my parents to go to bed so I could take it. I put it on my tongue and let it dissolve. It took less time than I expected. I waited an hour staring at the TV shows. Soon there was a white light coming from the floorboards. It felt warm, like the feeling when you put your hand near a light bulb. I went to get a crowbar out of the garage. I got the board loose and looked down. I saw a ladder and went down it. I walked down a long dirt corridor with a stone path. I saw a doorway with a sign. Harvest Area 22. Authorized personnel only. I walked through the door and into a hallway with three doors. I went through the middle one. I went through another long dirt corridor. It felt like an eternity. I had wished it was. I saw thousands of pink humanoid creatures with clumps and pockets of skin. They had glowing yellow eyes, sharp mangled teeth, and long bony arms. They all walked with a hunch, almost dragging their nails behind them. They looked confused, sad, scared even. There was hundreds of soldiers with large assault rifles. I could see the flags of the United States, Russia, and Great Britain. The soldiers wore black, red and blue uniforms with gas masks on. The creatures all stopped and looked up at me, thousands of glowing yellow eyes. I ran. I ran as fast as I could away from that place, and went to my father's room. I didn't care if he was awake. I went to his closet and grabbed his shotgun and waded downstairs, aiming at the floorboard. I heard a sick, growling noise. It was coming closer. Its footsteps echoed down the long corridor. I had my finger pressed tightly against the trigger. One of the creatures came up the ladder. It looked directly at me, as if it was looking into my soul. I tried to talk to it. I asked it if it needed some help. But all I could say was, coming. More footsteps echoed, sounded like hundreds of them. Then the gunshots came. It sounded like a massacre. The screams of those... those things are still in my head. The creature looked as if it was about to cry. I heard a voice yell, HALT! Then the sound of footsteps come towards the ladder. It felt so real. I just remembered I was on LSD. A soldier emerged out of the hole with a large revolver. He pointed it at the creature and pulled the trigger. The lime green blood spattered all over me. The soldier threw the mangled body of the creature down the ladder. He said, We will send a crew to clean this in the morning. Take this. He handed me a small pocket knife with the number 22 on the side of it. For your protection. The soldier went back down the hole and disappeared. I went to bed scared and alone. The next morning I woke up and went down to eat breakfast. I saw the living room was still intact after last night. I was sure now it was a trip. I took the bus to school. I saw the stoner girl and said thanks about giving me the LSD. You realize they pulled a prank on you, right? They gave you sugar tablets. The images of last night went through my head. The creatures, the soldiers, what had happened? I went home after school, tore up my room, and found a knife with the number 22 on the side.